What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Mode's Film Session, and today, man, you know we gotta talk Najee Harris, my man has some of them angry runs going on out there in that Bengals game, so you know we gotta get into that, here we go, here we go, let my man get motion into the back for real quick, y'all see the big fella, deuce, deuce, you can't miss him, alright, when he playing like that, he deserves all the attention. So we can give it to him today. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But man, let's play this thing real quick, full speed. Watch these dudes up front. Watch the blocking. Uh, watch the blocking. Love the hole right there. Shout out to the old line. But more importantly, man, why is this player success? Number one, the design of it. We're talking a downhill run from Najee Harris. Now, we're also getting wet on defense. Nickel. Okay. One. Two linebackers. One, two, three, four down D linemen, okay? That's your nickel, all right? Or that's nickel or the nickel might be over here. Can't remember because it's a tight copy, but either way, you're getting an advantageous box, all right? And that's what you want to run in if you're Najee Harris right here, okay? As you can see, these dudes over here worrying about pass cover. They talk about some crossing routes. Lurk the cross, lurk the crossing. You better be lurking this downhill inside zone run that you finna get, man. All right. Shout out, though. Whenever we get in this type of demeanor from Najee. Look at that right now. Shoulders downhill. This is downhill running demeanor. He's already at the line of scrimmage and has not been touched. Has a beautiful lane as well. Shout out to the big guys up front. Who got a hat on a hat? Say you Malu, Daniels, Moore, Cole, Broderick. It's no surprise. It is no surprise, man. This is how you have an effective and productive rushing attack, man. The guys up front got to win. And then from there, watch the big man Naj run. One guy, two guy, three, four. That's what you need to see right there. That's what you want to see. And when you talk about this time of year, them type of runs, oh yeah. They all add up right here, man. Excellent work though by the big guys up front and excellent work by Najee, man. Hitting the hole, right? We not dancing, we not being cute and make these dudes have to tackle you, man. You are a big, strong man. Run like it, run like it. All right, now you got Najee out of 13 personnel. And uh, yeah, shout out to 13 personnel. This was, uh, not a new wrinkle, but something that they put more emphasis on this game plan out of. And I thought it was a great design. Um, I'm actually going to do a film review on that, man. So if you haven't checked that out yet, make sure you tap in. All right. But 13 personnel, one, two, three tight ends. Connor Hayward, Pat Fry move, Darnell Washington, one running back, Najee Harris. All right. Why do I like 13 personnel? Because you get bigger body individuals out there that are people movers in terms of blocking. But we also have big athletes, Darnell Washington, Pat Fry move, Connor Hayward. So defensively, it just makes you have to, you know, be a little bit more uncomfortable in certain scenarios. But in terms of Najee Harris being out here with this, it's a high run probability. So when we talk predictability, this is very predictable. But does it matter? No, because you can't stop it. And that's the point, baby. That is the point. Inside run. Can you stop it? Can you stop it? Can you stop it? Nah, not on that play, baby. Not on that play. All right, so let's get into it, though, man. Turns the hat on the hat, right? Turns the hat on the hat. Nice, uh, not really a true double, but in terms of, you know, chipping on the way up to the linebacker. I like that by James Daniels. But let's look across the board, though, man. I'm going to play it a little bit further so we can get it more defined. But let's look, man. Hat on the hat. Who's winning? Darnell. All right. We got Broderick down on his DN. We got Moof getting on his linebacker right here. Mason Cole on his uh, individual right there. Say you Malu got his guy. Dan Moore got his guy. You got Connor coming in on 55, but you also got 78 getting ready for 55. Two defenders are left, right? 22 and 27, okay? Blocked up pretty nicely, though. So now let's see what Naj does. Inside running, keeps his legs moving, though. Watch his feet, they never stop moving. He never stops moving. He never stops moving. Never stops, never stops. Drives his legs, one tackle, two tackles, three tackles. Bro, this is tough. This is, with the whole angry runs, that's what you want to see right there, though, man. 
this is what Najee brings to the table. If you give him some time, if you give him some space, man, let him lean on you. This is what you want to see, man, especially late in the year. Inside runs, tough runs, man. This Najee season now, man. Picking up them knees. Big drive, big drive. You want to see where it's taking three, four defenders to bring a guy down, man. Because that gets old real quick. And as a defender, start to think about it. You start to think about these type of plays right here. Very disheartening, man. Would take your spirit. Love that right there, though, man. Absolutely love that. All right, time for that play, man. The play that I absolutely love the most from Najee's game um, versus the Bengals, man. So make sure you hit that like button. If we this far in this thing, might as well hit the like button. Might as well subscribe if you have not done so just yet. But we're getting stretch run, man. Beautiful work, man. Beautiful work. And it's versus nickel, all right? You see 27 out here, okay? You see four down D linemen, all right? Those are your indicators. But excellent work right here, man. Excellent. Uh-uh, get off me. Watch the finish. Ejection button. Yee! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let's talk about this one a little bit, though. Why do I like it? First off, man, you got Darnell Washington out here. It's 11 personnel in the sense of one back, one tight end. But more importantly, Darnell Washington, man, we say he's like an extra offensive lineman out there, all right? So when you get those two guys paired together in terms of Najee and 80, your antenna should be going up thinking run or play action pass, man. But I'm low-key thinking run or max protection just because in the sense of Darnell Washington being a really uh, good blocker and 22 being a really good blocker. Those are some of the mindsets when you're watching, you know, just from how we use our personnel. But why is it important that uh, we get this look versus nickel? Because watch 27. If this is a linebacker, this is a lot more stouter of an edge. Instead, you're getting Darnell Washington blocking this nickel corner. And yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I mean, let's just look right here. Now, Dan Moore, he was trying to climb to 5'7". Five, 5'7 seven, five, seven does a good job in terms of getting over top of him. And sometimes, man, for now, you got to make a guy miss, right? But look at how much widened this hole is because Darnell is taking 27 out of here, man. Now, from there, you got one-on-one. -on -one. We said. Okay, back or a good baggy attack right here. It's a little four-yard game. Cool. But the elite guys, the... Great guys, the top five, top 10 running backs, they make these dudes miss, man. And that's what you see here. Stiff arm, get them up off of you. Now we getting vertical, and I love this finish. We not jumping, we not running out of bounds, we not trying to juke. You're a power runner. Same foot, same shoulder, more power. Look at 23 thinking about it, man. Watch 23, just watch this, man. That hurts the dudes like him, man. That's on a dude mind like that, he like, yeah. That kind of suck, bro. Yep. But all good, man. All good because it's what you want to see, though, man. And then let's look at the uh, the blocking up front, right? Turns when you're running that stretch play. Say you Malu got his block. Mason got his block. James Daniels got his block. Broderick chasing his guy because five fives flash, fast flowing, reading his keys. 57, a little bit more depth playing at top down. So for Dan Moore, who's actually helping Say you Malu before climbing up, we knew that, you know, depending on how quickly Dan Moore would climb up on that would depend on how much of a factor 57 was. But either way, for Naj, make that guy miss, man. And now, heck of a finish right there, man. Love to see it. Love to see it. But you guys let me know your thoughts on Najee, man, and what you saw from him this game and what you anticipate seeing from him going forward. But either way, you know I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.